What's up you guys, it's Jay Carnas and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. In this video I will be doing a digital painting of R2-D2. Now if you've been following me on Instagram or you've been checking out my website, you'll notice that this guy's already been available on my website and I did post it already on Instagram. Um, I'm not too sure why I didn't do a YouTube video on it, but I'm doing it now. Uh, but yeah, prints are available on my website, jcarnasart.com. Keep watching if you're interested in how I create this guy. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so the very first thing I'm doing is starting with a very rough sketch of R2-D2, kind of just pinpointing where everything's going to be. All of the little mechanical stuff and the marks and, you know, knickknacks and stuff. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. Once I do that, I create a second layer where I block in just the basic colors and then I remove the layer underneath, which is where I did the sketch. And then I just work strictly with color. It's kind of like layering, except um, I kind of do everything on one layer. Uh, I treat my digital paintings like a regular painting where I do the base color and then I do a little more details and so on and just light the darks and I kind of just keep working on top. I don't really use the erasers, just keep working, 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 working. I let the colors mix. I let the shapes, you know, get their forms over time. And I go changing things as I go. If I don't like it, I paint right back on it. I don't erase it. And the reason I work like this is because when I'm doing a physical painting, I don't have that option to kind of just erase. I just have to paint right over it in order to fix it. So to keep that feeling in these digital paintings, I do the same thing. I just pretend I'm working on one single surface and I just work on top of it over and over and over again until I get what I want. The orange background started giving me like a desert vibe. So what I did was made R2-D2 look a bit dirty and rough. So I started adding a little bit of browns, a little bit of orange. Uh, I've started darkening and like really dirtying those grays on R2-D2 to give it that feeling that he's been, you know, rolling through the desert for a minute. So, when you have the main object down, everything's coming together. The main shapes are there, the main details, the main forms, the main colors. This is where you start to get a little more detailed to get closer. Um, the cool thing about digital art is that you can zoom in as much as possible and you can put in all those little details to really make it pop. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm going in and I'm darkening up some areas and lining others to give it more of a contrast and I'm tightening up these shapes, these lines, these edges and giving the form more life and just really, really making it pop. I think that's my favorite part about digital painting that I can zoom in and really get tight. I try not to zoom in too much because, like I said, I try to keep it as traditional as possible to get that same feeling. But it is very nice to zoom in and really sharpen up little areas and, you know, add that little tiny highlight that will make that area just pop. If you guys are interested in this piece, remember that I have it available on my website, jcarnesart.com. And if you're interested in seeing me paint another character from Star Wars, like another robot, like BB-8 or something, let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys suggest. Looking forward to reading that. So go ahead. Also down below in the description, I will have Blake Art Materials affiliate links to all of my favorite materials. So make sure you check that out too. Any purchase you make through that is a small commission to my channel. I appreciate you guys. So yeah. The only thing left to do is minor details. You just keep working at it until you feel like it's complete and you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys soon.